Hey all you YouTubers, this is my first video. Um, so you'll have to pair with me with pauses or rambling or I don't know, whatever else it may be. This is my first, or rather this is my second batch of batteries. My first batch was only, I think it was like 10, 10 cell packs. <clears throat> this is my second batch, 220 pounds. Um, the majority, I believe, they're all laptop batteries. There aren't any um, power tool batteries or anything like that, or cell phone batteries or whatnot. These are all laptop batteries. There's a few of them that I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, nope, that's not one of them. Uh, here's one. This is... An Apple MacBook. It's an A11 or an A8, A1185. I believe there's nine cells in this pack. And whoops, one of these packs. I think I've got two or three of them that I've saw right off the top of my head. Oh, here's one. There's another one. I thought one of them actually showed a test. Here's one. This isn't a Mac. Well, that one's not working either. Some of them actually shows some battery life left in them. Now that I'm trying to find one, I can't find one. So, there we go. I don't know if you can see it. Is that one showing three bars. So, looks like that one we'll have to see. Maybe they're all good, and I got good lucked out on that one. Several packs are actually still sealed inside the anti-static. So, who knows? Maybe the whole pack is still 100% good. Got some really strange odd ones. Odd shapes. Long ones. Here's one with a... Wow, look at that. We got three bars out of five. Bright one, too. So we'll have to take a look at those. Little skinny little thing here. There's probably, uh, what, four cells in there, maybe? We got a beast. Um... Feels like there might be nine cells in there. Again, we'll find out when we start breaking everything apart. See, that one's not testing good. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to pause and I'll come back and I'll have somewhat laid out. We'll see. Okay, so I got them out of the boxes now, or at least most of them. I left this box in. As you can see, we've got some rest going on here. I don't know if... It's just a little bit of rusty water they got on them, or if, yeah, uh, that one actually looks like it's going to be a prismatic cell, but, um, you know, so I'm not quite sure, you know, it's got these, these particular ones sat outside for a while, but I'm going to leave that box as being the last part of the project of, of breaking them down. And here's some more. Let's see, that one's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, possibly six, maybe eight. Looks like we might have two more here. So you can see, you know, we've got various different types here. A little on the dirty side, but eh, what do you expect when you're getting them from a recycle? So, now I did have one weird one. As I was dumping them out of the boxes, this one here, pushing the bo button here, I can't get it, oh, there it came on. I don't know if you can see that, but it came on with two dots. But earlier, it came on, it did that, then it went, up. Oh, there it goes. Now I'm showing it. I guess that's some kind of pack error code, maybe? Um, let's see, that's a Dell... 
11.1 volts, capacity 81 watt hours. Um, it's a Type U5209. I don't know. We'll find out when we take it apart. So, we've got multitude of different types of batteries here. Kind of a big old mess going on here. So, uh, I'll do a little bit more sorting and lay them out as according to sort of the type of type they are, according to um, what type of laptop batteries they happen to be. Um, there's even actually a VIO. I noticed there was a Sony VIO battery in here. So, 14.8 volts. So, might have quite a bit of cells here. Oh, there's a, there's a nasty looking one. I'll put that one in that box for right now. And we'll come back to you in a little bit. Okay, so now I got everything sort of laid out and figured out on my shelf. And, um, see most of them are pretty much this size. About that same shape, general generally. So there's probably, what, six cells in there, it looks like. And then I got a few of these... There's probably, what, four cells in that. I don't imagine there would be more than that. There's a few. <clears throat> there might be six in this one, maybe. So, we'll see how that one goes. And, uh, found another one here. It's, uh, I don't know if you can read that. Look at that. 80%. <laughs> and, it, uh, but it kind of feels a little light, so there might only be six cells in there instead of not, instead of, uh, eight or nine uh, it is 11.1 .1, so probably is six cells got another uh, Mac actually there's uh, a few of them that one doesn't have a sensor uh, battery gauge on it and uh, so now this one right here even though it says it's 14.8 volts yeah but we're looking at 29 watt hours that joker feels so light, I think a pad of paper weighs more than that. So, I'm kind of worried about what's going on with this uh, this pack. Maybe it's a fake pack. Who knows? Even though it's supposed to be from Dell. But we know how Chinese people can be sometimes. Or uh, some of the other oriental locations. So, uh, this is my battery pack that I've gotten. Again, like I said, it's 220 pounds worth. Sorted out. I've got a lot of work ahead of myself. And then we've got, there is this one here. I didn't open it up yet. And, uh, that jigger looks like it just came off of the assembly line. 5,200 milliamp hours. That's pretty decent. So, uh, we'll see what this one, uh, turns out. We'll give it a shot. There's several packs that are similar. And I got a couple of packs that are like this. That sure is a strange, strange design. And that and yeah, that's heavy too, so there's definitely something something in there. Hopefully it's not filled with sand. I'm sure we've all seen that video. There's another one's kind of strange looking, and uh, there's another one. I tell you, laptop batteries out of them designers had some really strange ideas for layouts. So uh, yeah, um, I'll be getting back with you guys later. And uh, I think I'm going to try to figure out some way to build a, uh, a vise to help crush these battery packs open to kind of help the process on a little bit. Now I'm only really wor waiting on is the, uh, the rest of my electronics and my chargers and, and whatnot. So I got a, I got a bunch of uh, 40, 4056s coming in and I've got um, a... Uh, Digi something or other. It's an i i4 charger. Although one of the guys on the on the uh, Powerwall forum said to kind of watch out for it because uh, they can be falsified and don't work like they're supposed to. So we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> and then um, I got a couple other pieces that I'm waiting on to actually start working on building a custom uh, charger. Voltage checker, reg um, resistance checking, you know, the whole, the whole gamut. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks.